Today's Art Studio. This is Catherine. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to be working on the DD October art box, everything that's included. I'm going to make this beautiful sugar skull trinket box. I'm super excited about it. I love how it turned out and I can't wait to show you guys. I hope you like the video. Uh, so I was trying a little bit of a new technique for me. I really wanted certain sections of the skull face to be really bold with glitter, but I didn't necessarily want to mix the glitter with resin and so I decided to take some Elmer's school glue which dries clear mixed my jack-o-lantern glitter in with it and then used a silicone brush to apply it where I wanted I'm also going to do this with the midnight glitter in certain areas and I was a little nervous I have used other um, like rubbing alcohol and other things with my silicone molds but I had never used actual glue before so I was not sure how this was going to turn out but it turned out awesome. Um, I'm really happy with it and some people might say well you know glue isn't archival but I mean it's a trinket box I'm not making like a thousand dollar art piece here um, and I'm also using a lot of other pigmented resin which is very deep and dark so even if it did yellow over time it's barely going to be noticeable. And just taking a little bit of that glitter and glue here and rubbing it along the bottom. This is what's gonna be the inside bottom of the trinket box and I wanted this to be super glittery and just really cool when you open the box. You're like, whoa, so sparkly and glittery. And that's exactly the effect we got. This again with the midnight glitter. All of the items here that I'm using are from the DD October art box. I'm not using anything extra except I will use a silver paint marker on the teeth. You'll see that in a little bit. I also want to mention that I do have some bonus content on this video for my patrons. If you are interested in supporting my channel and becoming a patron, please check out the video description for more information. They get bonus content about once a month, twice if I have a lot of um, extra time and can churn that out for them, but um, sometimes they get special bonuses and stuff like that too. And I just am so appreciative of my patrons. Thank you guys so much. And we're just gonna hammer away at this, filling out the skull face and the base of this mold here. And I am mixing the mica with some resin here and I do wanna mention that this is about 12 hours later so that glue is totally dry. Uh, we don't ever wanna put resin over something that might have some moisture in it. It won't cure properly, it can deteriorate later and just never firm up correctly. So I did give this plenty of time for that glue glitter mixture to be totally dry. Okay, so as I mentioned, I am using a silver paint marker here. And I like to dab some on my papered surface table here and get like a little puddle and then just use a little cheap paint brush here to paint it just on the teeth. So this was the next day. I did let all that other resin and again the paint marker completely dry and cure before coming in for our final application with the dark steel here to fill out the rest of the mold. All right, 
right, the best part, let's demold this. This is the third time I've used this mold and it still demolds beautifully. Look at that inside. So that's what I was talking about where I was rubbing the glitter on and how I wanted you to be able to open the box and just be like, whoa. This mold is so durable, I love it. And it's just so cute and there's so many things you could do. Oh my gosh. So that demolded beautifully. The glue and the glitter worked magnificently. It came out just fine and beautiful and vibrant. I love this box. I'm obsessed with it. I love the silver metallic, how it kind of like outlines parts of the face. I love the little silver teeth. So here it is, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com to get one of these boxes. I've got about 10 left. And you can buy each of the products individually too, as well in my store. I will link them each individually in the video description. Thank you again so much to my patrons. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.